Welcome to episode 3 of World Name, where the world is named World Name. Now I'm playing Minecraft in my world name name world. What do I have to do? I have to dig a hole in my shelter to find resources. Here I am going to dig the mining hole. I was thinking of a new design, instead of going like a long distance away or straight down, I'm gonna do a little roundabout. It's a, like a, it keeps going down, but it only takes two and a two space. So I don't have to worry about falling into lava or a ravine or a cave with monster because I can see where I'm gonna fall before I fall. If I fall without knowing where I'm falling, that could be very dangerous. So what I'm doing is mining downwards without falling, without the risk of falling by accident. Very nice, we have found the irons. This means the passage will be broken. It won't be very nice anymore unless I fix it. See here? Now I can't go home because I mined the iron. I am not the kangaroo, so I cannot jump very high. I am also not Super Mario Brothers. So I will have to make cobblestone fixings. I put the torch to make sure the monster do not spawn in my mining hole. This is my most favorite mining hole of all of mining holes in Minecraft. Here we have more iron. We may have to make some adjustments to the hole after getting the iron. We are having some good luck with iron today because we already found 16. I'm just digging a mining hole and I already got 16 iron. Uh, what was that sound? That was me finding iron. Mm. Oh no, my pickaxe broke and I found a cave at the same time. Now this is why I, di I was digging before I digging below me and not making, not falling down because I don't want to go in monster cave. Oh what? This is a cave I've already been into. Uh oh. We have to be careful, there can be monsters in this cave. If there are monsters, then they will most likely try to kill me. I don't think I can mine lapis alla sushi with... Oh, I have iron. Oops. I, I, oh, yeah, my stone pickaxe broke, so now I'm using iron. Oh, I was like, wait, what? Stone pickaxe work on lapis alla sushi? That is crazy, dude. But turns out it only worked because I was using iron, not stone. We have to continue this hole, but first I want to get iron. Iron. Is that a mine shaft? <laughs> no, I don't think so. I probably put wooden blocks there because I didn't have any other blocks to put. So I'm, I tricked myself. I was like, dude, is that a mine shaft? But no, it's not a mine shaft because it's my wooden block. If I put wooden blocks, then it, mean it means it's not a mine shift. I can make some iron armor now, I think I ha yes, wow, I have enough for full iron armor and a shield. This will allow me to become brave adventurer of Hyrule and rescue the princesses of the Celtas with my iron tools. I can't be bothered to mine coal. There is so much coal in my world, I don't need to mine all the coal. However, we have to be careful, it is night time, so we have to go sleep. To avoid the monster spawning. Sleep, it eat, sleep, sleep, sleep. Now we are going to make more furnaces, so we can smelt more items at a time for increased effectiveness of the smelting. See here, one in the summer, then, in the one coal smelts eight iron, that's why I make four one stacks and four eight stacks. This will allow me to smelt very fast if I put one coal and eight iron in each. Oh, stogie. I got dinner. Now I want to wait for my iron to smelt, but meanwhile I can sort out my chest. 
What do I have in my chest? That is the question of the chest. Oh, I remember. I wanted to make golden pickaxes to mine faster. Golden pickaxe is very bad, but also okay. It's bad because it does very little damage, but it mines very fast, I think. Question mark. I think I will always carry a golden apple in case of emergency. If I take a lot of damage and I'm in danger, I can eat the golden apple and perhaps survive another day. So, the golden pickaxe. I think it mines extra fast. Wow, look at how fast it mines. It's like a diamond. And that's very good. It mines super fast, but it breaks super fast. So, it can only be used to mine very small amounts of blocks. And then it goes, bada bim boom bim boom bim it disappears. But I don't know what to do with gold. Oh, I think I can make another golden apple. Wow, now I have two golden apples. That is very exciting. Wow, that is very long. I have never seen such a long dirt pillar. Wow. Let's go upside. Up. Uh, what? Who's a shooting? Excuse me, no shooting me. This bridge is not helping, it's making the monsters not die in the darkness. Let's put torches on the bridge, because I can. Thank you. Very nice. I like the scenery, I give it 5 out of 6. Now I want to build maybe a shelter up here. Maybe I can make a, a little house for a nether portal. So I'm gonna get the cobblestone I have collected, but first I get the iron. To make the iron armor. I have to survive in this world. So I have to make. Chest piece. Helmet. Legs. I mean shoes. And then legs. Oop. We really need to make. a what? Who's opening the door? It's me. We need to make a water bucket. You may wonder why. Because if I get on the fires. I have to extinguish is my feeling. Let us eat a steak, so we cannot be hungry. Hello, torch. I hate when you finish eating, you put down a torch if you are facing something. If you have it in offhand. So I try to not have it in offhand, so I don't waste torches. Because tor torches cost like nothing, but still... Hello? How's a torch at Dusani? I want to make a house. Let's make a house. I'm gonna put another portal in the house. Let's uh, see here. Uh, couple stone. This house will be used to go to the nether safely and maybe have a bed during the night time. If I come out of the nether and it's the night time, I will have a bed with walls around it. Let's see. How big will this be? I think I will make it uh, five blocks high. It will be a small house, not a very big. Oh, this flower has to go away. I'm sorry, flower. This one, too. I'm very sorry. I'm so, so, so sorry, flower. Very nice. Flower. No. Hello. I'm not going to make any specific floor. It will have a dirty floor with grass on it. And I will leave the flowers because flowers are very nice. That flower is sad because it's, uh, it's not planted. It's flying above the ground. Very sad flower. Wait, I said five blocks, so we have to add two more uh, blocks here. And then I will put nether portal in here, and then put a door, so when I leave and enter the nether portal, I should be safe. And not attacked by the crazy monster. I was thinking of a way to save blocks on the roof. How about this, everyone? We make slabs. Lol. 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 And then we can put half slabs as a roof. Isn't that crazy? No, it's not. Oh, sorry. Oops, I did not mean to put two. But that's okay, because we can use... Ah, I'm dead. How do I get on the surface? It is time to use what I call the water bucket trick. Use the water to climb the house. Very smarty pants. I have to be careful. I don't want to fall. I can use this to make this next layer of the roof. Wow, amazing. The most beautiful roof I ever saw in Minecraft Roof Edition. 
Oh, I can break one slab at a time. Oh, no. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> Sorry. I think one of these has a tomb one too many slab. I don't remember which. Was it that one? I don't know. Uh, two here. That's okay. Now let's put some torches so monsters do not spawn on the roof. Because the roof is on fire. We don't need no monster. Oh no, I watered some of the crops, which made them detach from the ground. Put some torches around this beautiful house in here. Oh, very dark inside. Wow, that's, that looks weird, actually. I think I will just use a normal blocks next time. It doesn't look very nice. The lighting is a broken. But uh, it was a nice experiment. Uh, next time I will not use slabs because the lighting is uh, a bon bonkers. Now what I need to do is uh, make a door. I do not have enough iron for an iron door, so I will have to make two with a wooden door. Oak door and a pressure plate, so it will always close the door and I don't forget. The flowers will defend the base from defending the enemies flying. And I have some poopies. Now I have to get obsidian to make the portal right about uh, here. This house is very nice. I rated 10 out of 10 house. Now let us go downstairs. Oh no, it's a squid. What is squid doing here? We have to squid the squid for an ink sack. Squid, squid, squid. Wow, squid has sound effect? I did not know that. I'm used to attacking the squid and hearing nothing but the sword sound but now it makes like e -e -e -e. my sugar has been growing very much i see one sugar cane very nice super many sugars now i should have uh, made an iron shield as well and i will also make another iron pickaxe and perhaps hmm what shall i make no i need to make a sword everyone this is hardcore mode we have to put survivability above mining pony. A shield, and then we could make uh, perhaps uh, a shovels. Oh, shovel. How about two shovel? I can put a stone shovel here, because I have iron here. Very nice. I'm going to win the game for sure. I can make these golden nuggets into a gold bar that allows me to make three pickaxes three golden pickaxes to do the power mining speed yeah is it worth it i don't know probably because i say so now i have a shield so i can defend the base i don't need it not right now but it will be good if i find uh, the mama ma 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 the cave with a monster so this is where we were at. We just keep going down. Ignore the caves that we found and we keep going down. And I'm going to use golden pickaxe to mine super fast. Whoa! Very fast. That was very fast. I can put down a torches. Does gold work on coal? Yes, it does. I can mine coal fast. This might be good because I hate mining coal, but if I mine it very fast, it might not be so bad. Golden pickaxes to mine the coal. Gold, coal, coal, gold, coal, gold. I need to fix this here. I broke the staircase of miningness. I won't go deeper than this. Uh, this is uh, very good at uh, height levels. If I press F3 on the keyboards, it will show 11. 11 is the perfect number for finding the diamonds. In my opinion, because maybe some people say 10 or 12 or 9 or 8 or 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 1, 2, 0, minus 6, 5 degrees north. I always mine at 11 because uh, that way I can find diamonds and I can also find caves. I don't want to go too deep, because then I might miss some of the caves. Now this is a very nice mining place, but I have broken all of my golden pickaxes. That is very sad. How will I win the game without my pickaxes? I need redstone and iron, wow. I need iron to make a compass. I need compass. Oh, wait, I have nothing to do with compass. Unless I make... Uh, I think you can change where the compass points, but I have never done it before. I have to investigate this on the internet. 
Or maybe, I think you need crying obsidian. It is like obsidian, but it's very sad. It's crying. Wow, what a nice mining hole we have here. It'd be a shame if something happened to it. Zzzz, bang. Zzzz, Let's get out of here. Wait, what? where am I going? I don't know. You tell me, everyone. I don't know what's going on. You tell me, and I'll tell you what to do, dancing do. What a gamboo. Oh, this is so slow. I hate having to jump and move at the same time every block. Now we have to go and get some uh, resources on the surface. Let's smelt some iron. And uh, go on the surface, get some quality treasures. I have uh, stone stairs. Yeah, yeah, I put down torch. Yeah. Stone stair. I go to sleep. Sleeping helps me survive, but I have to be careful. Once I go outside, there could be creepers. So I'm gonna use the safety tunnel instead of going to a creeper area. Speaking of treasure on the surface, we can go to the happy tower of many shooty dudes. Now we have iron armor and a shield to defend ourselves. I'm gonna equip my iron sword to deal more damage. And then I have to go inside and fight the, find the treasure. Fighting them on the outside is not recommended. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna use a technique I learned when playing Minecraft when I was a Minecraft player video game. I don't know uh, how effective. How did it work? Hello? Como se llama Bonita Mikasa Shakira? They were chasing me, but will they chase me if I chase them? That is the chase. Hello? I need to put uh, slabs to defend myself. I'm gonna do something here. Wow, there's so many dudes. Oh my god, no! Don't wanna die. I have a golden apple in case things go uh, crazy. Lol. Look at that. I am making them follow me to the place. Now I can chop them, but they cannot shoot me. This is an ancient technique bestowed upon pro Minecraft players of Terraria and Skyrim. Okay, this is weird. I thought that they would go around and kill me, but they are just waiting to get pawned. I did not be mean to break the AI. I'm not so pro pro dot. One torch here to make sure uh, it's very lit up, uh, fams. And we have gotten the treasure. Da -da -da -da. Bollers and enchantons. We got carrots. Do you know what that means? We can make carrot farm. Bottle enchanting, you throw it and get experience, I think that's about it. Ding dong, level 15. Is there something on the ceiling? Let us find out today. I don't think there is anything, but better safe than being the sorry. Hello ceiling, do you have many treasures that you were hiding from me? Or roof, or top, or top of the line pine? Wow, this is a great view. We have... Oh, that is where I can get crying obsidian. Once I get diamond pickaxe. Over there we have trees, trees, and more trees. And my mountain plane. Mountain. Wow, that was very good treasure. I'm gonna throw this egg. And the ink sack. Oh, I also got potato. I can make a potato farm. Carrot and potato farm. What great bounty have I harvested from this tower? I have to be careful. When I leave, there will be many shooting dudes. But don't worry, I have the anti shooters Hello, shooters. Oh no, I don't want the banner guy. He will give me the bad omen debuff. Run away from the bad omen debuff guy. Guys. Don't wanna die. Help me from Bainard, son. Oh, my money. It's an enderman. What is he doing here? Goodbye. And, uh, oh, hi. No, don't look at him. He will uh, kill me. I need to make a potato and carrot farm. Carrot, potato. Potato, potato. Which one do I prefer? Both. And woody suits. Oh, I think I got a hoe. <laughs> one damage, one speed. Excellent. 
Now, where shall I make my potato and carrot farm? I think I will make it somewhere around here. That sounds great. I know, right? One, two, three. We need water. So what I have to do here is use, is use an ancient water technique bestowed upon only the greatest of all Minecraft players. You need two buckets of water or just one bucket that you fill up twice. And then you put it next to the other one, but two blocks away. Then you can do this. Constantly increase the length of the water. Oops, I picked up the wrong one. <laughs> we break two and get water. I break two, water. Now I have water for my crops. All I gotta do is use the golden hoe. No shield, thank you. The problem with golden hoe is it will break very fast. So I will not finish my hoeing before it breaks. Rip. Not my menting golden hoe. I cannot believe that happened this cry many. So what we need now is to make a crafting table. Okay, I will go inside the house because I have crafting table there. And I'm also safe here. So what I need to do is uh, make uh, a hoe. I don't have a stone right now. So I guess I will make just two wooden hoes. I don't have any sticks either. What is going on? I'm very poor. I have to take a low one at the Minecraft banks. We have to get the two hoes. So we can start our farm. I know I'm making a bit too many tiles, but that's okay. One day I will have enough tiles to fill up all this crap. Wow, look at how nice this is. This is the nicest farm I ever built in Minecraft 2. two seven, six, six, six. This flower is not a crop. Goodbye. Now we have to be safe when we are farming, so we're gonna have to make some defensive measurements. What will I make? I don't know. You tell me. What? You? You? I think you can make walls in this game. I don't use walls very much, but I think you put a 3 and a 3 and you get a... Wow. Cobblestone wall. What is that? Cobblestone wall. We're going to put cobblestone wall, wattless around the farm. It's a great wall of cobblestone. First, I have to dig some dirt blocks away because I don't want the monsters to be able to jump over the wall. Then the wall will be totally useless and I will cry 57 times when they jump over my wall. I refuse to let that happen, so I'm digging the dirt blocks to make sure it does not happen when I'm trying to win the game of Minecraft. So this wall, uh, I think I will make it two blocks high. What is this? It doesn't work. It's broken. It's broken, everyone. I cannot break, make, break and make the wall. This wall will def... Oh my... Go goody. This wall will defend my crypts from... Hey! From the evil dudes. Oh, I think I'll make it three blocks. No. Yes, no. No. Can I... Can I not? Can I not? Not what? Not. A very nice wall we have here. It'd be a shame if something did not happen to it because it's super safe. Um, no. 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 How will I enter and exit my farming area? I think I will make a crafting table. I can't be bothered to go inside the house. I'll put one... Uh, over here. Oh. I need a door and pressure plate. Mm, I love pressure plate. Wow, this looks not so good, but it's okay. It should make me feel very safe. Whoa, what's going on here? And now you can put slabs on top of the water and it will not kill the water underneath it. I learned this technique from you... Uh, Guys watching the video, you told me. I did not know. That is the most useful tip I ever received in Minecraft. Can I put torches on the wall? Yes, I can. That is the coolest dude. Wow, it even changes the wall design. 
Now look at how safe I feel while farming. I will never die in... I think uh, Skeleton can still shoot me from the mountain. That's not very good. Let us put more torches around my bases to reduce the chance of monsters spawning and attacking me. I have a bed inside this house. You may wonder why, because if I sleep in the bed, then I don't have to stay awake during the night. Wow, that is crazy, dude. I know, right? So let's go to the bed and I will not have to stay awake. Sleepy time. Respawn point set. Okay, but I'm not gonna respawn because I'm such a hardcore Minecraft player. Now we have to put the crops here. The crops we have are currently potato, grass, ursums. I think I will split it uh, like a carrots will be... Carrots will be like over on this side. Potato on this side. And go all the way to the end. And then woody suits will be at this little area here. A suri blues. Very news. I have some spare wall, so maybe I can make this li look a little nicer. Help. This looks uh, weird. H hey, I want to get on top of the wall. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's uh, very hard. I have never done anything so hard in my life. So I can put maybe the wall like this. And now it will look so good. It is the most goodest looking thing I ever built in Minecraft. For sure. Look, now the whole door totally looks nice and natural. Now these crops are going to grow and that will make me happy because then I can harvest them when they are ready. So now we have a farm going on, our nether portal room and uh, super beautiful scenery. Do I have the shears with me? No, I don't. Very sad. No shears. How will I shear without my shears? Shave my sheep without a shears. Time to go downstairs. Time to put stuff in my chest. I need the apples and the food. Where is the food? Here. Lots of stuff in my inventory. I need to fix this man before I get too much stuffing to do. I need more iron. Speaking of iron, I was smelting iron, dudes. Now I can really enter the iron age and make lots of iron tools. We can make three mining picks, four mining picks, no, three mining picks, one shovel, maybe an axe or two, another sword. Oh, then I need a compass, but the compass doesn't really help because it tells me to go where I started the game, which is in the middle of nowhere. I don't want to go to the middle of nowhere, that's not very nice. I want to a compass to tell me where this pillar is. Tell me where the pillar is. I need to find a way to change it. I will maybe find out very soon. But first I need diamonds, I think. Look at all these tools I have. I will throw away the stone tool. I will put it in the water so it can drown. Oh no, bloopity bloop, the tool is drowning. I thought I heard something. But I guess it's a... I, oh, it's probably just that things falling in the water. <laughs> I thought maybe there was a monster gonna kill me. Look at all these tools. I have so many tools to win the game with. So, end of episode 3. Uh, insert goodbye here.